Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about EasyPost as a shipping carrier integration. So in Acumatica 2021 R2, Acumatica now has it fully integrated. You don't need a customization package. You simply need to go to Enable Features. and scroll down to your third-party integration and you could see shipping carrier integration right here so make sure that's turned on you may need the license for it and then if we go to carriers we can add a new carrier and we'll call this easy post maybe UPS Okay, so we'll call this our UPS and we'll choose our plugin type, uh, Easy Post Carrier. Okay, so now the first thing is, is you can see the APIs. So the APIs are required to communicate properly to the Easy Post platform. So if we open up our Easy Post website, You can see here, we currently have production and test API keys. If we click show, you can see our production API. And we'll put that right here. And, and Easy Post also makes allowances for a test API. So we'll copy that, go back, and we'll paste that. Now, this gives us the ability to keep ourselves in test so we don't generate any real labels. And we'll select our kilogram measure, unit of measure, that's kg, and our centimeter measure CM and we'll save it okay so one thing that's important is we need to pick the easy post connected carrier so that is to say once we have easy post set up we have our own account we've created our own account and we brought in those APIs Acumatica now can communicate and see what shipping carriers you've set up with easy post so if we go back to our Easy Post screen, we click on our email address here, or our account name, I guess, and we select carrier accounts. You can see these two, the DHL and the USPS, are set up out of the box when you create your Easy Post account. FedEx, however, I added. So we got this FedEx account. Now if we go back into Acumatica, you can see all of those three carriers. Any of the carriers we set up in Easy Post, you'll see them in the drop down here. And that's how you'll set up your different carriers in Acumatica. So we'll choose FedEx. This gives us the ability to log requests that we're making. This tells us where we're shipping from. So we see this from time to time. Customers are trying to get their from address correct. Right now, Acumatica will send over the from address to FedEx that's in the company branch. So whatever company you're logged in, it'll use that address. But over here, we have the option to choose the warehouse. So whatever warehouse we're shipping from, it'll choose that instead. So you have your options there, keep that in mind. Confirmation allows us to require and request signatures. We can choose the label format. So this is the image that Acumatica is gonna generate when producing a label. Now, PNG is fine for testing, so is PDF. You can see these images in Acumatica when you confirm your shipment. But when you're printing out to a printer, ZPL is the zebra format. That's what you're going to use. This is the labels that FedEx supports. And you have a number of other settings here that are specific to the carrier and easy post. So we'll hit the save button here. And we'll hit test. And you could see the connection to the carrier was successful, came up very quickly. The next step is to create a delivery method. 
that we can use to link to this particular carrier. So we'll go into our ship via and we'll create a new one. So we're going to just use FedEx ground. You create all the different delivery methods that your carrier supports. But in this case, I'm going to say easy FedEx ground. So we're going to just call it FedEx ground because this is what users will see. It is an external plugin. The carrier is what we created, easy FedEx. And then the service method is the different services that FedEx provides. So this came down from the carrier and through EasyPost. So we want to select FedEx ground. And for what category we're going to tax this delivery method at, we're going to choose our freight sales account. our sub account and our freight expense account and we're going to go to packages and choose the different packages that can use FedEx ground so this is where you decide which boxes will work with this delivery method notice you have limits the box weight max box weight and you have your dimensions here so while FedEx ground might work great for some of these if you're doing, you know, FedEx overnight or FedEx envelope, you're not going to be able to get a 30 by 30 size box into an envelope. So FedEx will push back and give you error messages when you try to confirm a shipment if you use an incompatible box with a specific delivery method, ship via. So let's save that. Now let's go into a sales order. Open up our sales orders. We'll choose a sales order that's open. And I'm going to just ship this laptop here. So I'll delete this item. Hopefully the salesperson and the customer aren't bothered by the fact I just removed an item off their sales order. So we'll create the shipment here. And now under shipping, We'll change the delivery method. There was no delivery method on there. So we're going to pick our FedEx ground. And we'll go into packages, pick a box. This box should be fine. We'll confirm it and click confirm shipment. Now, what you get here is a tracking number. You could see that here. If you click over here, you can see the attachment to this box, this package. If you click on it, you can find the label right here. So the label was generated. Now with our WMS, a device manager, our process would have been different, more refined with a mobile device and or the printer would have automatically printed it out. In this case, we're pretty set up manually here where the label is here and when we want to print it, we can just drop it into the printer queue for the Zebra printer. But our WMS package handles it much more streamlined. But you can also see you have the tracking URL that's been created. So if we click on it, you can see that the estimated delivery date and that this is not a real tracking code. But EasyPost provides this tracking status, which is very nice. So that's it. That's integrating EasyPost. You could set up Easy Post with any number of carriers. If we go back to Easy Post and we go into our carrier accounts, you could see the list of carriers that Easy Post has set up. There's quite a few, everything from LTL to international shipping. You could find the one you're looking for, set it up, link it to your account that you have with these companies and EasyPost will do the rest. Be sure to check with EasyPost on any relative charges that they may be charging you for using their service. But that's EasyPost integrated natively into Acumatica. No customization package needed. Uh, it's now part of it in 2021 R2. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel and have a great day.